Hi, I'm Sue, and this is my story. I was at a New Jersey state getaway for Moms in Prayer, and people from the prison ministry team got up and spoke. And I don't know what it was, something sparked an interest in me. And I talked to them, they invited me to join them. They were praying at a private facility at that point. And I started praying with them. And I don't know what it is, but I just felt very comfortable in that environment. I'm not the type of person who finds it easy to witness to people, but in that environment, who doesn't want to hear that they're forgiven? Who doesn't want to hear that they have a second chance, that they are loved? So I found it very easy, and I really enjoyed praying with these women and connecting with them. The ladies are usually all in a big room together, and we just walk through the room and invite them to come. Um, usually the, the guard will announce it and um, any, we have our own little room that they let us go in there. Anybody who wants to join us um, can come there. The private facility is a little more open. Um, we come in and they just start yelling up and down the halls, mom's in prayer, <laughs> mom's in prayer, and we go into a room and we just sit in a circle and have our prayer time. We still use the prayer sheets and the same. We would, and we still divide up into smaller groups at the end. It's amazing to see some of the women have such amazingly strong faith and pray such powerful prayers. I learned so much from them. And to see women there, it's not uncommon for them to bring other women into the group. And you find out that they've been praying together when you weren't there and reading the Bible together. Um, one time we prayed with a group of women who were new to the facility. We hadn't prayed with them before. And at the end, one of them was so moved because she said she'd never been in a group of women that just loved her and supported her and cared about her. That was very moving. We'd seen women who initially didn't get along with each other. There might be some kind of competition going on, something. But when they pray together and they pray for each other's children, they become prayer partners and friends. And the whole atmosphere of the facility kind of changes. That's what we've noticed in the private facility. They're very happy for us to come. Jesus is my savior. That I can come to him with, no matter how big or how small an issue, I know he's always there, ready to listen waiting. I know that it's not about me. It's all about what he does in me. Um, he is the answer. There are a couple of verses that I kind of hung on to. Uh, I, as my girls used to go out the door to school in the morning, I used to sing this little verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I, just keeping that in mind that it's Christ working in me. And also he says that his power is made perfect in our weakness. And I used to say I was a poster child for that <laughs> because that's a real weak area for me, but he has made it a possibility. So I would say just stay close to Jesus, have faith, and He will make it happen.